Imagine taking a snapshot of your material handling line if you can see through the conduit. With dilute phase conveying being very lean, if you were to just take a still shot uh, in real time of what's going on in there, a lot of air, a little bit of pellets being peppered through, but those pellets are moving extremely fast. Now with wave conveying, uh, it's a, it's a semi-dense vacuum conveying system. Now you can achieve dense phase conveying with a pressure system. It's typically used in a lot of other industries where they're moving a high rates of material at fairly high distances, sometimes up to over a mile away, like some pretty wacky applications that you'd see out there. But again, in, in, in the vacuum conveying space, we, we, we really don't need to, to, to achieve that with respect to, to resin conveying for the plastics industry. Now, with wave conveying, Conair truly developed this over um, over, over the concept of slowing the material down. And this is patented technology that truly is able to allow you to convey two to three times slower than what dilute phase conveying would be. And you'd still be able to make rate because as you take that still shot of the dilute phase conveying compared to densifying that, that, uh, that, that uh, material handling line, you're, you're moving more material at a slower rate, but you're still able to achieve rate at your destination because it's not super fast, light, uh, lean process. It's slower, densified process. Now, I just put up on the screen here an equation that's very important to understand with respect to what does resin velocity or what does material velocity do to, uh, to, to your system? Now, attrition and erosion is directly proportional to velocity of the material to the exponential degree. Uh, now, attrition is your material. Your, your material attrition is how the material breaks down, if it's angel hair, if it's dust generation. Um, if it's breaking apart because of uh, because of how fast the material is running uh, uh, down that line, but also erosion is going to be your system component. So we talked about blowing elbows out with glass filled uh, glass filled nylon applications, for example. Uh, we can also have system components such as valving or your receiver itself or anything that that receiver is touching or scraping by throughout the conveying cycle. The faster you move it, the more quickly you're going to wear out that component or wear down that resin. So if we're able to take a typical uh, dilute phase conveying system is going to have a pickup velocity of about 3,500 to 4,000 feet per minute of air velocity. We take a slip factor D rate of 80%. That resin is moving about 2,800, maybe 3,000 feet per minute um, at the end of that acceleration zone at pickup point. And then it's always going to continuously accelerate all the way down to your receiver. So at the end of the day, your, term, your terminal velocity, the resin velocity before it enters the receiver or right as it enters the receiver, could be of excess of 5,000, 6,000 feet per minute in a non-purge system or of excess of 10, maybe 12,000 feet per minute in a purge system as those last pellets are, are, are screaming by to get uh, to clean out that conveying cycle. Now with wave conveying, we're able to achieve much longer life of your system components. We're able to uh, virtually eliminate or, or minimize the amount of dust that's generated in your system or, or eliminate the angel hair generation based on the sheer fact that the resin is moving substantially slower. A typical wave conveying system, if we're in the wave stream space, is going to pick up at about 800 to 1,000 feet per minute and terminate at about 2,000 feet per minute. The way that we do this is we manage a deep vacuum state. We break that deep vacuum state at the pickup point to atmospheric pressure, which allows us to get the material into the line. We, we pulse that, that, that vacuum into, with atmospheric pressure, in rush of air, picks the resin up, brings it into the line, and then we keep it we keep it conveying super slow because we've densified that line now and we're modulating the amount of CFM of that pump at the, at the, at the air generating space based on our VFD uh, and, uh, and the algorithms that are telling that pump as to how fast it should be turning. So with wave conveying terminating at 2,000 feet per minute and dilute phase conveying typically terminating at 6,000 feet per minute, imagine what that does with this equation. If we take that velocity, and it's a minimum of a, of a cubic exponential, and it's variable based on certain uh, bulk densities, certain different materials that you'd be moving, but at the end of the day, this is a truly logarithmic uh, translation to tell you that it is, it is going to help uh, save your resin and also help save your components uh, based on slowing your resin conveying down.